folks. Welcome back to Andy Does Ales, where we will be testing and tasting and looking at and smelling another beer. It's a bit like Groundhog Day, really, isn't it? <laughs> it's all beer. It's all good stuff. Yesterday, I did an NI... No, an NEIPA. I took it up. New England IPA. Didn't realise it was that. This one... You might guess what it's going to be. It's a HDHC IPA. Where are they coming up with these? I, I don't know. Why just bitter, mild, and blonde, gold, sorted? You know where you're at then. HDHC apparently, apparently, apparently. <clears throat> he's, he's here again. Apparently, it stands for high density hop charged. So I've got a high density hop charged IPA. Hmm. 7.2%. It's a good one. Salt Beer Factory in Shipley in Yorkshire. Uh, brewed in an old tram station, tram factory, a tram depot, apparently. 7.2%. Salt Denim. HD, HD, HBTC, ZPQR. IPA. <laughs> oh dear. Well, I don't know. Is it going to be like the one yesterday where it's going to be orange juice uh, and, you know, various things like that? A little bit about it. Right, 7.2%, I've said. Hazy pale. Right, okay, it's going to be orange juice again. Let's see. Malts, extra pale, cats, uh, extra pale oats and wheat. The hops in it are uh, Centennial and Citra. And in the can, it's vegan friendly. So it ticks a box again. I'm all politically correct this morning, this afternoon, whatever day it is. Ah, right. Let's get it in the glass and uh, see what damage can be done with this. All right. Right. Smells like an IPA. Oh, in fact, it smells. Hmm. Smells like an IPA. Got a strange whiff then. Hmm. That doesn't bode well. Right, here we go. Let's have a, a butcher's hook at this. <sighs> 14,000 finger head again. Oh dear. Anyway, look at that. That is carbonated. That's why it's got a good head. Carbonating like mad down there. Hazy, it's not, there's, there is a slight um, clearness about it, but there is a bit of a haze. The cat's just come in, so if the camera moves, it's her fault. <laughs> um, you can just about see through it. So it's not quite orange juice. Oi, come here, you. Are you going to come and say hello? Right, here we go. There she is. There's Woody. Hey. You started the beer video now, look at that. There you go. <laughs> Whoa, good girl. Well then, what you get? Cat hairs. <laughs> right, back to the beer. Same colour as, as, as Woody, really. Um, yeah, right, I'll get through this head. It smells very citrusy. Very citrusy indeed, and hoppy. Well, it would do. There's only two hops in it. I thought there'd be more in that. But... I suppose it's when they put it in the, in the process of brewing that it brings out the, the aroma. I love that I love that citrusy smell. So, 7.2%. Salt denim. Salt denim, it should be a status quo beer, shouldn't it, really? Yeah, double denim. <laughs> Let's give it a taste. A quaff. Well, that is really nice. There's enough beer taste there to keep this old, nearly swarthy, this old beggar happy. <clears throat> There's, it's very fresh, it's very zesty, and it is, it's not fruity, but you've got that citrusy overtone that, that's quite sweet. And um, ooh, gloopy bits. 
It's, it's quite sweet. And there's, there's enough bitterness to go with it to make it a, a, a decent IPA. You see, like it's, gone, it's got orange juice now, and I'll pour the rest into it. I think it must be um, unfiltered because it's got bits and bobs in it. Again, 14,000 finger head. Do you want to flake with that, sir? Thank you very much. But as a beer, ignore the looks, right? It doesn't look like a beer at all. And as you know, I like to, a beer to look like a beer. It tastes like a beer with a hint of that citrus, citrusness about it. It's very nice. Mmm, lovely. There's no massive fruity overtones there, which is good. Because I like a beer to taste like a beer, as you know. I keep saying Groundhog Day, isn't it? Again, no, that was yesterday, wasn't it? Um, yeah, denim. HD, HD, IPA, ZPQ, RZZ top. Salt Beer Factory in Shipley. Um, in fact, there's a picture of the beer factory on the back. Um, microbrewery, <coughs> pardon me, on a, on a mission to make people burp. Oh, sorry, no, to unify heritage and modern brewing. <sighs> well, we adopt the same progressive spirit, blah, blah, blah. Inspiration, name of our beer, right? <coughs> Pardon me. Saltbeerfactory.co.uk Yeah. Chilled, drink fresh, store chilled, vegan, may contain sediment. Didn't read the small print because the sediment's there. But... That's no problem, it still tastes good. <clears throat> Before I poured the sediment in, it looked like a proper beer. Now it looks like an orange juice, but it belies the taste because it does taste like a decent IPA. And a very nice one at that. This is one to have in the tankard, so you, don't, so you can't see it. In fact... <sighs> No, no, it's got it's got dead things in it. I'll have to wash it first. I suppose they all have. I've got three of them up there. <clears throat> well, I suppose they've all got dead things in them and spiders and stuff. And they need washing. Right, <clears throat> okay, that was a success. It was better than I thought it was going to be. Salt brewing, denim, HDHC, IPA. High density, hop charged. IPA and it is hop charge. You can you can really taste the hops in. Look at that lacing now there. Now the head's gone down a bit. Very fluffy, very very fluffy white head. Very fresh, very refreshing. Lovely, lovely sharp taste with that bitterness that comes through uh, after the sweetness. And yeah, it's it's lovely. I real I'm really surprised that I like that one. So, well done. Well done, Salter. You've uh, you've changed your mind. Right. On that bombshell, on me liking that. Who's that? YouTube. Rocker's Beer Review. All right. Okay. Hi, Rocker. How you doing, mate? Let's get some beer on the go. All right. See you soon, folks. Take care. And uh, just keep drinking the beer. And whatever you do, keep on rocking. <laughs>